Bad knowledge management hurts productivity. In this video, I wanna go over seven ways AI can help you drastically improve that. And these tips are gonna be in order of how simple they are. So if you really wanna automate your knowledge management system, wait till the end. Tip number one is use knowledge bases. It's basically your virtual brain. And just to explain this a little bit more, it is the backbone of your knowledge management system. They're basically like folders you can upload files to, but the difference is you share this folder with an AI, which means you can very easily manipulate your knowledge in tons of different ways for loads of use cases. But don't worry if this sounds confusing because I'm gonna go over this in a lot more depth in this video. All you've got to do is go to textcortex.com, you've got to log in, click on knowledge bases, new, give it a name, and then you can upload your files there. Just press complete, finish, and then now you've just taken step one into having a good AI powered knowledge management system. But let's say you've got all your knowledge on some other platform like Google Drive or OneDrive. This brings me on to step two, which is set up integrations with knowledge bases. Basically, what you can do is connect your Google Drive to this knowledge base so it automatically updates. The AI automatically gets every change you put into your Google Drive. And I've done a video breaking this down in about one minute. So click here now if you wanna see more about this. This brings me on to tip number three. Use Xeno to customize the way you interact with knowledge bases. So this is where we really start to add an AI to the equation. Say now, for example, you've created some knowledge bases. What you've got to do is click on the knowledge base, see all the files you've uploaded, and you can either chat with the individual files or you can go to Xeno like this and equip them with that knowledge base. So this means now you can ask any question to that knowledge base. And even going one step further, you can customize the model Xeno uses. It could be GPT-4, it could be Claude 3, it could be Mistral. You can give Xeno more resources to find more information. So you could have web search, Wikipedia, Twitter, and more. If you wanna change the way Xeno responds back to you, all you've got to do is change the persona. I'm gonna do another video on this. If it's made by now, click the video above. So now we've got a base understanding of how Xeno works with knowledge bases. I wanna bring you to tip number four, which is how to manage a big project with multiple different types of knowledge bases. In my experience, I would highly recommend only adding one type of files to one knowledge base. So for example, if you've got tons of different marketing files, just make a marketing knowledge base. And then if you've got tons of different sales files, just make a sales knowledge base. So kind of structure it the same way you structure folders. And the reason for this is AIs can kind of get overwhelmed in the same way humans do. So you don't want to give it too much information to, to search with. And the really cool thing about Text Cortex is this feature, because if there's a lot of department overlap, you can actually select multiple knowledge bases at once if you really want to find information from both. What you do is click on knowledge bases, and then you just select all the ones that you want it to search from. And with these knowledge bases, departments, and Xeno, you probably don't want everyone to have access to, to everything. So this brings me on to tip number five, which is organizations to manage permissions. All you've got to do is create a organization, Roman Inc. I build AI, confirm. And just like that, I can add all my knowledge bases to this organization. And if I wanna invite anyone to this organization, that's just as simple. All I need to do is to right click on the organization and then I can choose how I wanna share access to, to other people. Now let's go to tip number six, because actually everything we've not learned about adding Xeno and knowledge management, you can actually put this all on your own platform. So this is still early stages. I'm gonna put a link in the bio where you can actually say if you're interested in this feature, but basically in the near future, you can completely customize Xeno and your knowledge system to embed that into your website. So as you can see here, personality, memory, behavior, customization, icebreakers, configuration, and security. I'm not gonna go into much depth for this now. Feel free to put in the comments any questions you might have. And this brings me on to my last tip, which I think opens up knowledge management to so many different use cases, and that is set up automations for your knowledge bases. And for this one, you're gonna to need to use the API. Personally, I like to use make.com, but I know you can use Zapier or even code it yourself. This is just the idea that you can automatically connect other platforms to your knowledge base using an API. So for this example here, I use HubSpot, Text Cortex, and Google Sheets. All you've got to do is add the HubSpot module in make.com, get the Text Cortex knowledge base ID and API set up, and then as well, you can put it into Google Sheets, you can put it into blogs, you can put it into tons of different use cases. I did a full video breaking this down. You can click the link above, that will take you straight to that. Let me know in the comments if this was useful to you. 
been Roman from Test Cortex. I'll see you in the next one.